Hello everybody and welcome back to Prey. I've been gone for a few days. Oh, shut up. Stop getting louder. I'll scream. No, I'm not. Anyway, hello everybody. Uh, it has been, um, it's been about a week since we've played some Prey. Um, not gonna lie. Uh, it's not because I'm bored. It's, well, it's mostly because I've been trying to finish up Forza Horizon 3, which guess what I have done. I've now fully completed the Hot Wheels uh, DLC. Uh, man, it has been a time. Um, but I hope that you guys are excited for more Prey. Um, I'm doing uh, just fine. I had a huge, and I'm talking huge, uh, salad for lunch, uh, a ginormous salad. And when I say ginormous salad, I mean like a, like almost like a bucket of salad. Like it was like two Cobb salads in one big Cobb salad. Um, I love Cobb salads. Uh, I just love salads. Um, I'm actually, you know, it's kind of funny is people think that fat people don't like, uh, salad, but that's wrong. I love salad and I'm uh, a fat guy. I mean, like, I don't look like I'm, like, a ginormous dude. I know that none of you have ever seen me, but I'm not, like... I'm not, like, 600 pounds, for God's sake. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on the bigger side. But I love salads. You know what? Let's just keep that with today's theme. Salads. Uh, do you love salads? I love salads. Uh, specifically, I love Cobb salads. Uh, house salads are kind of boring, um, because typically a house salad is just like lettuce and croutons and like a bit of stuff. And it's just kind of like a shitty vinaigrette. And I think that's kind of shit. Um, so I specifically love like Caesar salads. I like any hearty salad. Throw some chicken in there, some steak. Fuck. Salads are fantastic. What is your favorite salad? Uh, if you, if you love salads, leave a like and tell me your favorite salad. All right, so the last time we played Prey, we finally met up with January, uh, our buddy January here, who is a dope little suitcase robot. You've been trapped in a simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only. A few I'm gonna have long. to uh, turn the volumes down just a little bit on my end because January is a little loud for me. Um, but yeah. Um. So. We found out that we have to destroy Talos 1 uh, because uh, the Typhons have gotten out of control. Uh, and uh, where we left off was uh, was here. We were up in our office. And uh, now we have to make our way to Psychotronics. Uh, because of why, again? I believe it's because we have to find the dude. Which dude? What's the dude's name? Uh, well, we have to find Josh Dalton. That's one thing we have to do. Uh, didn't we already do that? Oh, get Bellamy's room key from his bot. Yeah, we have to get Bellamy's key, but we had just okay. So we're just inner psychotronics. Uh, I thought we were finding somebody. I think we were finding a we were finding uh, a guy. I don't remember, but we're loaded uh, on ammo and all kinds of goodies. So man, it's been a while since I've played this shit. Um. I've kind of forgotten the controls just a, just a little bit. I, I will say just a little bit. Um, but I have been kind of looking forward to playing this again. I've just been really busy with Forza Horizon 3. I've been trying to get that done. You know, I started playing Rage again, which, uh, why? Why the fuck am I doing that? That game is really not a, a great one. Uh, did we go into employee? Yeah, we went into employee uh, orientation. Um, but you know, I've been trying to get some of my backlog done. I got such a backlog of games, guys. You don't even know. Uh, I have a laundry list of games. Like, my list, uh, of games is probably longer than most people's, uh, because there's a lot of just stuff that I just have not played. You want to know, uh, you want to know how bad it is? Secure release. How about release? What the fuck did that do? I don't know, but I heard something. It was like an opening noise. Uh, I have not actually, f like, finished Fallout 4. And I'm not kidding. Like, I started playing it, have not finished it. Haven't even played the DLC. Uh, Elias Black, Yuri, 
Turns out Yuri Kimura is like everyone else. I'll tell you over lunch. What the fuck does that mean? A note. Elias, you left your character sheet on the printer. Don't forget we moved the game to the rec center and crew facilities. It's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take a happy pill before showing up. See you there. So, let me guess. Uh, everybody here just plays fucking D&D &D and creates toy guns. Like, what, what? Is there, like, seriously no serious people on this station? Good like nobody. Talos. Join us in congratulating Dr. Lorenzo Calvino. Winner Calvino's dead. Toy Nobody's Innovation congratulating him. Uh, unlock quarter. general access. Sweet. Here we are. Psychotronics, finally. Uh, been wanting to get in here. Oh. January, I'm seeing. This time we spoke. My code name is December. December. My purpose was to help you escape Talos 1. I know your memory shot full of holes. But you left instructions that the Typhon should break containment. Alex has a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the Neuromod division, along with a supply cache. I'll transmit the location to your map. I'll uh, contact you... you again when you've got the key. Uh, okay. Yeah, who is December? I mean, I know who December is. Oh my god. This whole thing is like... Can we fix this? Oh god, please repair it. Repair it quickly. Oh no, come on! Oh! There we go. Jeez. Do I have any food? No. I got rid of all my food. Um, you know what? Just go ahead and use two of them. We do need to make it so our med kits are better. So who... Man. So December. Uh, what the fuck is this guy's deal? I mean... Yeah, let's repair this too. Always, always use another recycler. Always. Oh, is this that room that I saw from? Oh, okay. From over here. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we've just gone full circle. That's nice. Um, December. Uh, man, I don't know. It, I feel like it's gonna be one of those. Who do you gonna believe? January, December type of dude. Psychotronics foyer. I'm hearing a voice, so I'm assuming. Uh oh, uh oh! Get the other gun! Come on, you big bitch. What the fuck? He's just getting up! Oh my god! Oh! I'm like, what the hell is that thing? Like, put down this weird... Oh, my God. I'm just, like, really fucked up now. Jeez. I need to use this and use some of these. Man, shit. Typhon organs. A Typhon lure. Ugh. Okay, expired plasma bag and a Psy Hypo. Still know what these Psy Hypos do. A Typhon lure, though. It's kind of a cool little... Thing. I wonder if I can lure. I'm just like sitting here thinking about. Okay. Um. I'm just wondering if I can. Well, it seems that went to waste. I was kind of hoping maybe there was something down in this lobby. That was a bummer. Um, hmm. Okay, well. Oh, uh, give me a second, folks. Gotta sneeze. Wow, uh, my eyes came out of my head. Barely. Emergency procedures. Put on your suit. Put on your helmet. Get to the evacuation things and get in these pods and go. Uh, who's this? Joel Weeks. He only had biohazard waste on him. <sighs> Joel Weeks is indeed a weak man. I still hate how it's like we crouch. When we are, like, grabbing somebody. Alright, well, here's Psychotronics. Unlock. 
sweet. Let's go in. Right. Of course I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, you know, <clears throat> it's got such a huge list of games. Um, you know, I still got to play through all of Fallout 4. I just haven't. I've wanted to, but it was just like so many games were coming in at the time that I had Fallout 4, and it just never got played. I still got to play through Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Oh, my God. I still got, I just have, a, like, a laundry list. Trust me, it's it's bad. I have games on PlayStation, too, I have to play, like Tearaway Unfolded. I still have yet to play through Uncharted 4. Are are I mean, I just started Uncharted 3 on my channel. You guys have seen that. And uh, I still have yet to play Uncharted 4 still. I haven't done it yet. Um, I just have so much to do. I mean, it's it's crazy. And in terms of like games to play, man. <clears throat> and then games just keep coming out. Just all this, just so many games just coming out all the time. And a lot of indie games I love playing too, especially horror ones. Um... You know, like, there's, uh, The Town of Light is coming out soon. Um. Man, cut me a fucking break, dude. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? What was the... Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. Yep. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Okay, so... Our brother's really trying to prevent our shit. Um... He's not doing a very good job at it. I'll tell you that much. He done hidden all these things from... Ooh, look at... Oh, man. Do I want to jump in here? I kind of do, because there's a person in here. Um, all right. What do we have? Broken cooler fan, burnt circuit board. Oh, shit. Otto Lauda. Mickey Lauda's brother? Um, okay. Well, it seems that's all that's down in here. Can I go ahead and climb up here? Escape pod key is this way, apparently. Well, we want to head for the guts. Um. Uh oh. Do we have any? Do we have anything on us? Uh, no grenade. Oh, you know, you know, I put all the grenades in our safe. Um, that's what I did. It's all right. It's uh, I don't really use them that often. It seems. Really need to get hacking too, so I can break in all these shitty doors that don't have key codes. Is it you? No. <gasps> Where are you? He's around here somewhere. I saw him. So what is this thing? Is this just like a way to walk through or... It has, like, these weird walls. I don't even know anymore. Uh, clean room preparation for men. How the hell am I even supposed to, like, carry this out of here? Oh, there we go. Just like that, basically. Uh, go through. Just carry it here. Drop it. Ooh. Okay, well, we got something in here. <gasps> Die, Crispin! Well, Crispin Boyer is dead. All he had was Typhon organs on him, but we got him. 
I kind of wish you could pick up toilet paper um, as... Uh oh As like junk. Stealth attack! Yeah. Getting the mimics. Um, yeah, I wish you could pick up toilet paper as like... Uh, like junk and stuff that you could recycle. Man, I wish you could actually pick up a lot more that you could just recycle. Just like anything. It'd be kind of nice. Alright, we have a book here. The Starbender Cycle, Book 3, Spatial Delivery. An excerpt from Book 3 of the Starbender Cycle by Fletcher McMarvin. Trevor Pulsar slammed the Talon's engine into overdrive, praying to Zolar he'd make the gap in the asteroid field before the Mordrax raiders caught up to him. He was on urgent business for Empress Tourmaline, and rotting in a Mordrax prison, kill prison wouldn't do. JT-88, Trevor barked. Patch me... <laughs> BB-8, patch me through... <laughs> nope, copyright strike right there. Patch me through to the nearest Royal Fleet op <laughs> outpost. Moments later, a scrambled hyper-signal could be heard in the cockpit, resolving from static to dis discordant tones and finally a voice. Trevor, is that you? This is Outpost Lambda. Where in Zalar's name have you been? Trevor replied, cool as a cucumber. Nobody fucking says that anymore. Nobody in their right mind says cool as a cucumber anymore. Saving all your asses. I found the Starbender Prism and I'm coming in hot. Sorry, I get a little too into the books. There you go. Uh, Trevor's coming in hot. I think it's a romance novel. Could be. Possible it's a romance novel. Um... It's this literally just like leads around. You just go if you're a man or a woman. It's like whatever. Could have just went in here anyway from the get go. Um, don't drop the soap. The men's bathroom is a shambles. Ain't Jack and the shit in here. Oh, actually, oh my God, what have we just discovered? Ugh. Ugh. What the hell? Flush it! Ah, uh, flush it! No, I can't! Uh. Covered in alien shit goo. Well, we found Allison. What is Allison Brady doing in the men's? Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump down here. There's a med kit. Um. Huh. Seems like a little little secret I oh I can't get in here cargo there's some glue canisters what else is there in here oh there's like stairs I wonder if I can get it there oh no no it's not stairs it's just the roundness of this uh, is there anything else man what is th what is this oh shit surprise you can't see turn on the flashlight <laughs> Whack. Yeah, there we go. Mimics are down. Well, actually, not all of them. Oh, this one's frozen. So I didn't. I didn't do that. So I don't know. Blue cannon. Blue can. Two. Oh, that was a fake blue cannon. I was tricked. Should have known better. A psychoscope. What does this do? Oh, is this what we use with the psi hypo? Oh, what is this? What? What? The psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos One. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Oh shit, I did! Mimic Detection Gen 1 Neuromods? Typhon Organs? Oh man. So, you just scan, you scan live creatures with this? You've acquired a chipset. I, I have a chipset, yeah. Okay, so allows detection of hidden mimics. Yes. Reduce the side cost of telepathic powers. Yes. Let's just put them both in there. Um... Okay, um, let's see. Any other suit chipsets I haven't used? No. 
Um, okay, neuro mods. What do we have? We got three. Uh, well, we could buy. Oh, I want hacking two. That requires four. What is this though? Increase your psi pool. Neuro stimulant increases effectiveness of psi hypos. Oh shit! Look at this. It just opened up a whole lot more. Oh what? Okay, so I have to scan Typhons. To unlock these. Oh, that's crazy. Energy morph? Oh, that's right. The morph, uh, the morph, uh, ability. Uh, where you... Yeah, the, uh, the morph ability where you can turn into, um, like, coffee cups and stuff. You have that actual ability to basically use the same as what mimics have. Oh, that's awesome. Well, shit, man. Like, uh, it's gonna be a lot of scanning, it seems. Be scanning around a lot. Psychoscope required beyond this point. I have it. I have the psychoscope. What do you know? Okay. Um. Oh. Hello. Okay, so I've researched uh, science operator. They, uh, their weakness to uh, electric, EMP explosive and melee, but they're immune to null wave and psychic. So there's no new data. Okay. Steven Mueller, he has a petri dish sample, a glucosist, and a mimic tumor on him. Okay, so we can view our research of all the every, of everything. So, uh, yeah, it tells us about them. Um, it tells us about them. That's pretty cool. Uh, these are our plans, our keys, all your logs, and all that stuff. Okay, cool. I like that. All right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna Great. die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate your psychoscope. Try scanning the Typhon specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten. What? So what, like, are we like the villain and the hero at this point? Like, so were we researching how to, how to like bring Typhon organisms and, and use their powers so that we could expand our lives and shit? That's kind of fucked up. I mean, it's like, you know, when we were playing Soma, remember how when we talked about with Soma, uh, there was the whole talk about how um, you couldn't really, you know, it was the, it, the game was more or less deciding about, you know, what was it ethical to uh, kill the robots um, or to keep them alive because you thought they could feel. I feel the same kind of question applies here, whereas it's like, is it ethical to become more than just human? Or to stay yourself and stay, you know, completely human so that you don't become a monster eventually. You know, and so, I mean, if that's what we were doing in that case, that's really fucked up. Anti-rad, what the hell is this? Woo! Scan it! Scan the mimic! Scan the mimic! Damn it! More specimens required. Where'd he go? Bye, bitch. Man, he's quick. Oof. I want to be careful of that. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and, uh, use this. No, let's not. Is there a recycler in here? Actually. 
Yes, there is over there. Okay, so. There's a maintenance access panel here. And there is a recycler here. I want to use this. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, let me go ahead and heal. We have some food. I meant to eat that. What is this? Oh, it, re it removes radiation. Okay, so it's like rat away. Basically. And we need to repair our suit as well. Um, because it's broken. Um, alright. So, let's get the glue cannon out. Yeah, that's really helpful. Just wasting all my fucking health because that stupid little tree is in the way. God's sake. That is kind of annoying. Uh, Hans Kelstrup. He just sample his cabin key and his office key. Nice. Okay, what do we have here? We have his safe. Um, I want to, like I said, I want to go here to Recycler because we need to uh, transfer all our junk. We also need to transfer that. Um... So yeah, that's gonna do it. Spread and recycle. All right. Uh, a whiteboard, Greek term, uh, all everything, whole soul, mind, pan, psychicism. All basic physical constituents of the universe have is that something mental properties that are irreductible. Okay. Right. Um, let us see here. So there's a main we have a maintenance hatch here. I don't know where this leads. I'm just kinda hoping it's a little area. Oh here we go. Central power. Turn off. Turn oh no, I want it on. Oh, maybe we have to turn it off to to go to a certain place because it's it'll like kill us if we don't. Um, right. Uh, anything I want to make here? I want to make a narrow mod actually, um, so that we can get hacking two. Let's see, narrow mod. Hacking 2, yes please. Um, we do have Morph. Oh, there we go. Um, mimic Matter 1. Uh, camouflage yourself by taking form of a nearby object. Uses 2 Psi per second. Um, mimic Matter 2. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Mimic slightly more complex machines, such as turrets. Uh, and... Mimic complex machinery such as operators. Oh, uh, okay. That's that's actually pretty cool. Man, I'm I'm kind of hoping that there's like a new game plus to this game because I would love to be able to like play through this game multiple times and uh, be able to like get all of the. Uh, power-ups eventually, and then that'd be pretty cool. We're gonna make a couple more med kits. Um, my, I think my suit is good, but I want to use another one of those, um, just in case. Um, okay. Well, we got everything in he this cabinet. Let me go ahead and, uh, and, um, harvest these flowers. Can't harvest anything in there. Uh, alright. So let's go ahead and read the... Okay, well now I'm hearing noise. The music has started up. Let's go ahead and read his emails. Maybe there will be, um, a code for this safe here. 
Time to talk. Our esteemed colleague, colleague Dr. Galagos, is posing a problem. Let's talk via looking glass ASAP. From Alex to Hans. Okay. Uh, Tokaji's injury. Dr. Kelstrup, patient Tokaji insists she got her hand caught in a piece of machinery, but her wounds show evidence of bite marks, human bite marks. Someone bit her finger off. When I asked security if they could find the finger so I could at least reattach them, they said the machine had ground them up. What's going on? Thanks, Elizabeth Bay. What? Status report, Takaji in 37. Dr. Kelstrup, per your request, Dr. Takaji was sent to trauma. Her fingers could not be recovered. V-010655-37 is isolated and under con a continual watch. Security will perform regular checks on his physical condition. Oh, okay, so he was keeping it under wraps that her that uh, the person who bit off her fingers and hit her and uh, hit that person in isolation. Okay, telepath rejection. Full report. This is from Sanjay Puri to Hans Kelstrup. Uh, full report still pending concerning the last experiment. Was is this the same guy? Yeah, with thirty seven, the Typhon. Psychocratus initially uh, evidenced interest on the subject, but then failed to colonize subject's mind. Developed a strong aversion. In fact, experiment halted at 5 hours, 1 minute, 30 seconds. Or no, 5 minutes, 1 uh, second, and 30 milliseconds at Morgan Yu's request. 37 sent to recovery. While 37 has a history of psychological instability, the event seems to have uh, inflicted additional trauma. Both Morgan Yu and AU... Uh, Alex Yu, have agreed that 37 should be held until we can determine the origin of 37's particular resistance to the Typhon Psychocratus, Sanjay Puri. So, what, did did 37 then get out and bite off Dr. Takaji's fingers and then they put, and then they, uh, or was that, like, after? Did they, um, did he do that and then they, they held him, uh, in isolation and started experimenting on him, but then they realized that the Typhon stuff wasn't working because he was already under mind control? Hmm. All right, the noetic field. Um, noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific co community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea of uh, now claim that they thought of it first. I might have read that. Um, I might have. Typhon Mimesis Part 2. Earlier models postulated that the mimic reformed its uh, molecular structure, actually replicating the atomic makeup of a tar target object. We now hypothesize that mimics are not changing shape at all. When they mimic an object... The mimic is no longer objectively present in this universe. The mimic swaps with an object in a parallel reality, but maintains a conscious link. A kind of paradimensional entanglement to the object in our universe. That's weird. So it's like it, it, it's going into another dimension. It's crazy. Uh, LG conference room. Allow access. What? Archival footage. Video uh, retrieved from deep storage and ready for playback. Director level authorization confirmed. 1960 first contact. Oh, wow. Okay, so like what? In 1960? So in 1960, like the mimics came from the moon, basically? Is that what I'm getting at here? All right, how about Weaver, 1965? Killing its own. 
Huh. What in the world is going on? Oh, it became a different thing. Oh, shit. That's kind of crazy. Wow. Okay, so, like, what I'm getting at is they, like, they, like, find the, the them on the moon? Were they found on the moon? Or maybe, like, an asteroid of some kind near the moon? Dr. Kelstrup's office. This is his office. It's hidden away. Hmm. I don't know, but that's kind of crazy they were discovered like a long time ago all the way back in the 60s got some goodies here for us Let's recycle and oh man a looking glass station recycler charge um before we pick that up actually no let's go ahead and pick that up calvino what did you do to my conference room eh? Uh, oh, 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 yes. I was uh, just about to call you. All I see is a dot. Yes, that's right. It's the calibration system for the new touchscreen. You only have to run it one time. Uh, are you kidding me? Just follow the dot. When it turns green, touch it. It should... Damn it, Calvino. I do not have time to play sing-along with your bouncing ball. I'll call uh. you back. So basically, he comes in here... Touch to calibrate. Oh my god! Jesus! <laughs> no! Absolutely not! What the hell? Oh my god, that was a scare. That was a real scare. So this is like doc Dr. Calvino's workshop that we're seeing. Oh my god. Man, I should have never even fell for that. Oh my god. That's the first that's the first thing that's really gotten me. Uh <laughs> since I've started playing. Oh no! Cannon his ass. Oh, actually, we have to put our we have to put our thing on. Phantom, we gotta scan him. There we go. Some food, glue canisters. All right, what did we get out of that? Uh, so there we go. The common name fan. Oh, that's a disturbing ass picture. Um, scientific name. Uh, Alright, so phantoms are not wholly alien. Created by weavers using human remains, phantoms have been known to exhibit human-like neural patterns at times. But as noted in observation log, that number, while phantoms may also attempt to reproduce human phrases, they do not appear to retain any form of actual speech or human comprehension. Due to the specimen's explosive speed, phantoms must be subdued or, in or enclosures purged before attempting to enter. So yeah, so weavers... Those, that thing that we saw the little mimic turn into, they use human DNA to turn them into these things. They're immune to EMP, though. Uh, and they have kinetic blasts. Those are the scannable powers. So their weaknesses is glue, of course. Mimic. One of the first Typhon discovered during the Verona 1 incident in 1960, mimics are capable of imitating nearby objects. During incident case, that number, it was observed that mimics use other living organisms as a reproduction medium, killing their prey in the process. In accordance with the POBAG protocol, mimic specimens are not to be released in environments with a containment rating of less than S4. Their weakness is to Q-beams and glue. They're immune to EMPs, and we can scan them for Mimic Matter 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it still hasn't told us where the Mimics actually come from. So now we have Kinetic Blast. Um, that's nice. It's kind of expensive, though. Oh. Man, I'm still trying to get over that scare. <laughs> a 
There's a maintenance access panel here. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just like his little back room here. Leverage assist. What is this? Let's check it out. We do have... Reduce the time it takes to pick up heavy objects. Yes. We do have the space for it. We might as well use it. Um, okay. So I think that's all that's really in here. All that was in here was a fucking terrifying ordeal. Thanks a lot. So yeah, that's just his office. Uh, we've already been there. I don't give a shit. It's whatever to me. It's whatever to me. All right. Back out. All right, so we're back in the director's office. Let's go ahead and uh, recycle our junk. Speaking of recycling, let's put this recycler charge here. This food here. Doing it. Doing it. All right. Not bad. A little bit of uh, everything. Man, that was a terrifying ordeal. Jesus. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello, operator thing. Okay, so we came over here earlier. And I think we found everything, so we're really just kind of pushing forward now. User oh! Mismatch. Please calibrate your scope before entering examination area. How do I. Well. Oh! How do I get up? Um, is there another way to like, is there a way to get up? See, it says first floor and then do not enter. So I'm kind of wondering like, how do I, how do I get up here? There's another science operator. They don't have any new data though. Oh, there's a phantom in here. All right, scan Typhon organisms to calibrate psychoscope. Open containment shield. Good. Sending Nothing in here. To a safe and direct to office. Are certain these hidden neuromods there? Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. Do that. Maybe you'll live long enough for me to see your face again. I don't want to see your face again. All right, another phantom. Ooh, he's pretty angry. And we have another phantom. All right, there we go. Scan is complete. All right, so we've completely scanned. Uh, it appears that we've completely scanned the Phantom now. Uh, the Mimics have like six things of research, but the Phantoms, they only have four. So Morgan's notes, use glue to slow them down. Telekinetic projectiles pack a big ass punch, but can be dodged. Better to get in close and personal. Tracking bracelets on them are still active. All right. So yeah, this uh, basically allowed us to have um, Kinetic Blast 2. Like, see, because we have to scan more targets to get, like, these unknown abilities or whatever. Um, so we've scanned enough targets for Kinetic Blast 2. So that's basically, that's the basis of it. All right, cool. So we've calibrated. Nice. And we're going in. Oh my god, what is this? Labs B? Labs A. Hello? Oh my god. Take a good look. Everything happening on Talos 1 started here. You were so driven in the beginning. 
My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. It's like... So the weaver, it's like... It, obviously, it's a, what's called a weaver because it, like, weaves these weird orange uh, see-through kind of webs. It's really disturbing. So it's weak to Null Wave and Psycho Shock, but it's immune to EMP. It gives us Backlash 1, 2, and 3, and Phantom Genesis. So let's check out the powers on that. Um, when it comes to Morph, we have Phantom Genesis. Create a Phantom that will fight for you from a human corpse. Create a more powerful Phantom to fight for you from a human corpse. Phantom type is randomly determined. So that's what we get from the Weaver. And telepathy. Uh, create a shield for 20 seconds. Uh, create a shield for 20 seconds to prevent the next two enemy attacks. And three enemy attacks. Cool. So, yeah. Um, getting some Typhon powers kind of added up there. That's kind of nice. So, the live exam morgue here. Toolbox. Let's go ahead and head this way. This will be the first place we go. There's an electric junction. Hopefully that doesn't break. Live exam morgue. Okay. I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. Error. You'll have to finish what they started. Oh, will Back I? Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow Ooh, unapproachable. What are these? They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. I don't know. So, so what? Live Maybe they. Exam procedure in progress. Local so what? Do they just like sense our? Terminates. Our? Do they just like sense us? Is that what it is? I don't know. We have another uh, scan here. Acquired chipset. What do we got? Oh, we only have. Um. Let's see. Increase the amount of time needed to complete a scan. Uh, so here we. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to uh, take out reduce the side cost. And we're going to put in speed scan because we don't have any psi powers right now. Um, and it's useful for more scanning. Ruby stone, petri dish, a psi, uh, hypo, a psi hypo fabrication plan, and some jelly deals. Oh, yeah. Can I just walk up in here? No. Probably need to open the door. Morgue is this way. Okay, so let's check out the computer. So, information... Uh, Phantom Genesis, Experiment ID, Live Exam Series. Uh, please ensure there's a cadaver in the enclosure and activate the psychoscopes prior to opening containment chamber. So, okay. Well, I can't use anything here. Live Exam Controls. Um, warning, activate psychoscopes. Uh, deploy Null Wave. Oh, good god. Uh, well, that didn't do anything. Open the containment shield. Holy shit! Oh my god. Um, we got a problem. Uh, yeah. Apparently it's compromised. I, uh, hold on, sorry. I need to heal. Um, I have some jelly deals I can eat here, and then this, and then I can take one Being electrocuted! Oh People my god. People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. All their wonderful abilities, 
There's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. So they don't empathize. Obviously, they just kill. That's like their job. They just kill. Yeah, well. We got some veggie blend. Go ahead and eat that. See these sushi rolls. Nom nom noms. Wow. Well, that was a strong ass one. Woo! Uh, containment access, material extraction, gravity utility tunnel. Here. Uh, the, the containment was lifted. Let's see here. To the morgue. Let's go down to the morgue. Mimic matter one available. New psionic aptitude available. Scan complete. More specimens required. All right, so there's a mimic in there. We're gonna have to get rid of. Um, let's go ahead and check over here. Is there anything we can pick up? Uh, doesn't really seem like there is. What is this? What is this thing? It's all in Russian. So, you remember how um, the Russians used to help build this thing before they, like, closed? This is all their, their equipment. Um, they're still just using these, the like, the equipment. Right, engineering operator. We have a bunch of research now. So, uh, the oper uh, the engineering operator, we have uh, the Volatic Phantom. Let's go ahead and read this. Uh, no entries found. Please contact Dr. Hans Kelstrup. It's weak to EMP, no wave and psychic, but it's immune to electric and stun. Voltaic Phantom. Weaver. Along with mimics, weavers were some of the first typhon encountered near the Verona 1. As observed in log, that number, in larger mimic populations, one mimic will be chosen via an as yet unknown mechanism to undergo a specialized metamorphosis. The chosen mimic is stung repeatedly by the others, triggering a rapid change, resulting in a new Typhon genocratus or weaver. Weavers appear to be central to the Typhon e ecology, largely as vectors for production for some of the other species, as well as the substance known as coral. So that's what they are like, that's what they, that the orange stuff is, it's called coral, I'm assuming. Um, when it comes to neuromods, we have uh, electrostatic resistance, take 50% less damage from electrical attacks, oh yeah, we're going to need that. And electrostatic burst, so we can actually create an electrostatic charge ourselves. Okay. All right, so autopsy. So one of the cool things is that now that we know there's a mimic here, we can surprise attack his ass. That one just disappeared. I had the feeling that was gonna happen. Tumor, more mimic tumors. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the uh, recycler charge out and I'm going to throw it right in there. Nice. Just to uh, give us a little extra of uh, materials and stuff. This is kind of a shitty like lab. Uh, okay, let's... What do you mean, zero? I'm out of ammo! With the pistol! I didn't even notice that. I've run out of ammo with the pistol. We're gonna have to make some more ammo for the pistol. Oh! Uh, Mitsuko Takaji... Oh, here's Takaji! Well, I mean, she had her fingers bitten off earlier, but she's now just here. She's dead now. Oh, man. Okay, well, the autopsy room, she's dead. Found her body. All right, Kelstrip's safe. Oh, I am aware. 
Oh no! Oh, where'd the mimic go? Scan him. Scan him. Matter two. There we go. Grab those up. Uh, I could repair it or I could hack it. Let's hack it. There we go. Oh my god, we have to do more than one. Damn. I didn't know that. I thought I just had an... Ugh. Damn shock charge. Anti-rad pharma fabrication plan. Another med kit. We have some emails here. I'm an idiot. I'm indisposed. Uh, Damien? Damon, maybe? Kelstrup wants to discuss some urgent matter. Science operator l lets itself in the morgue by the half hour on the dot every day. Shadow it and slip in. Mod malfunctions. Remember how funny I found Alvin Broyles movies up until I had that second uh, coma whatever the hell that is Neuromod installed now they can't even elicit a chuckle I'm not imagining this am I I did enjoy them right Haley isn't happy about it ever since she scrutinized my every move how much hot sauce I use where I put my shoes before bed shit even my handwriting you'd say you're still the same person you were before your mods went in wouldn't you maybe maybe not uh, let's go ahead and give us another shot, shall we? Yeah, this is fucking hard. These these hacking things are hard because it's like you have to be super fucking precise, and I hate it. Because they don't, th like, this thing moves very, it's very jerky. It's gonna fucking quit out of the damn thing. Come on, I don't want to get fucking shocked again. Fuck, fuck you, I'm not fucking using your shit anymore. Fuck it. Six bullets, like, that's gonna help. I need a recycling station now. Oh my god. What are these people? Jesus. Really? More specimens required. Come on, just hit the damn thing. Now I gotta repair and heal. Same old song and dance. I'm gonna have to make some of these soon. These suit repair kits. That ain't gonna. Those things aren't gonna cut it. Those five. Can't I just break a damn window? Well, of course, there's bars on the window. Okay, well then what the fuck am I supposed to do in terms of getting in there? Oh my god. I just figured it out. I need that damn bolt caster, don't I? Uh Man. Okay. All right, uh, tell you what, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back. I'm gonna head back and get the bolt caster, uh, find a way to stuff that in my inventory. Um, yeah, and then, um, and then we're gonna open that door. We're gonna get those in there, and yeah, uh, I think that's gonna be the the uh, sense of it. So, yeah. Hello. 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 Alright. Yeah, so uh, get the bolt caster. Uh, I'm going to have to shove that in the inventory somehow. Um, 
But yeah, so uh, I'm going to head all the way back and I'm going to get that and we're going to continue from there uh, next time. So uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching and uh, I will see you all uh, next time.